welcome to another installment of Shooting Star. One of my most favorite things is working with a bride on her wedding day. Not only is she extraordinarily excited to be marrying the man of her dreams, she also looks gorgeous. Now when you're posing a bride, or any female for that matter, I feel like it's extraordinarily important to make her feel comfortable as well as appear effortlessly beautiful. This is most probably best accomplished by navigating her movements from behind the camera, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit more about how I do this. Here. So if I'm having you take a step side to side, you're doing wonderfully. I just don't want there to be... Just order me around Okay, great. Door. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, then great. Have you step right there? Beautiful. Uh, one more step this way. Perfect. At the beginning of the wedding day, I'm very lucky to have a few minutes to work with the bride alone. The key for me during this time is to create natural lines with her body, as well as create curves where the curves belong. This is most probably achieved when I'm able to get her to relax. Now part of the key of getting somebody to relax is giving them something to do with their hands. Now one of the easiest ways to have somebody do something is to give them something to hold. Now this is easy with the bride because she can hold a bouquet and then we can kind of navigate the shoot from there. Here's a few examples of how I do it. Good. And so every time you kind of like look away, always kind of keep the eyes nice and light. Like as if your friends are talking to you. Just Another tip that I have learned throughout the years when working with brides is to incorporate personal details on their day. So yes, she can be holding her bouquet, but what would be the next level? What's another idea that I can do? Well, I've found that when I have a bride move her hand, perhaps maybe touching her earrings or touching her necklace, not only am I giving her a natural pose to do and giving her body curves, I'm actually working in details that are sentimental to the day, perhaps like her necklace. Good, beautiful. And then put the arm down, leave the arm down, beautiful. Gorgeous, and look at Jesse. Nice, <laughs> good, beautiful. And then bring your eyes here. Good, and bring the hand right back up to the necklace again. Just nice, easy. You know, look over to the girls, the stylist over there. Oh, love, good, <laughs> good. It might feel silly, but show the bride what you want her to do. Feel free to demonstrate, throw caution to the wind, because chances are she will do it better than actually how you are showing her. But what you're doing essentially is giving her the permission to move from pose to pose without having to wait for you to walk her through each step of the way. So just have your um, arms with your bouquet here and then bring the bouquet up. So bring the, tilt it up like this. Bring the head up. Yeah, there you go. There you I know, sometimes I'm not so great at explaining. Right. You can just have your hands here. Beautiful, just like that. Yeah, looking down is great. Beautiful. Good. A quick review for posing a bride. One, give the bride something to do with her hands. The easiest way this is accomplished is by her holding the bouquet because it creates natural lines and curves where they're supposed to be. Two, give specific directions and find ways to incorporate personal details as a way to diversify their portfolio. Three, show the bride what you want her to do. I believe she'll thank you later for it. If you would like to see more videos and posing tips for brides, grooms, and how to shoot a wedding day, feel free to check out jasminestarstore.com. Thanks for checking in this week, and I hope you have a fabulous day.